we all want to be happy, peaceful, and live a meaningful life. The supreme teaching is, you are absolutely whole, complete, unto yourself. There is nothing needed from outside to make you feel more whole. Actually, what is lacking is our ability to create and sustain the environment where we can feel that connection with our wholeness. In Sanskrit, the word ashram means shelter from the heat of life, a sacred place carved out from the distractions of the world. The Sonoma Ashram came into being in 1990 when Baba Harihar Ramji came to Sonoma to establish a spiritual home for the teachings of his guru, Agoreshwar Baba Bhagwan Ramji. The ashram has since grown to have many dedicated residents and visitors from around the world, a place where devotion and spirituality are experienced not only in yoga and meditation, but in the simple and ordinary things of life as well. It is in the practice of practical spirituality where devotees learn to experience the divine in everyone and everything, and strive to bring the virtues of kindness, compassion, and acceptance in their everyday lives. One of our projects is in India, Bala Ashram, a place for abandoned children or orphaned children, and that's a wonderful place to go and give gift of yourself to the children. They were boys who were in hopeless situations, abandoned, abused, neglected, and here they are in a true sense of family and also a spiritual family where they have guidance in many ways in their lives. A lot of the boys are found wandering on railway stations in India. Um, many parents who can't feel they can't look after their kids put them on a train to nowhere. And so when the train comes to the final station, they're left there abandoned. And it's a really dangerous environment. So I think most of our boys come that route. Bal Ashram is the children's ashram in Varanasi, India. It is here where children without parents find a loving home, quality education, and learn how to be good human beings. Bal Ashram is located near Banaras Hindu University in the ancient city of Varanasi, one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world. Varanasi is a holy city. It's the holy city for all Hindus all over the world. At one time it was called Anandavan, forest of bliss. But today there is not a single park in the city. It's a concrete jungle. Modern Benares is a city that uh, has shifted from its historical beauty to an over-congested, modern, third-world developing city with uh, terrible infrastructures, terrible pollution, and uh, bad water pollution, bad air pollution, garbage strewn everywhere, and a great need and opportunity to do something about cleaning up that city. So a first step that Babaji has conceived of is to build an environmental education and demonstration project across the river from Bal Ashram, and that will be the Eco Village. Eco Village will not only be a sanctuary of peace, but a working classroom as well, where affordable, environmentally sound architecture, solar cooling and heating, sustainable on-site biogas generation, and recycling and reuse of household waste will be a model for this rapidly developing country. So it's more about the next generation. I always believe in educating children. If you really want to bring about a change, you have to start with children. I can just see 
20,000 kids coming a year to the eco park and learning about planting, learning about trees, learning about the alternative energy, solar panels, hydroelectric, methane gas, and those kids will grow up with that idea. In India, Banaras uh, looms pretty large in the Hindu imagination as uh, the most sacred or one of the most sacred sites in all of India. And also in the world, it's one of the most ancient, continuously inhabited cities on the planet. So it's not just any old city, it's a special city in India and in the world landscape. If we could succeed in greening up the city of Banaras, that's clearly going to have a spillover cultural effect uh, through India at large. Uh, and inspire people that if they can clean up that very important sacred city, which is so badly polluted, we can do it here too. And so I'm sure that this is a project that's going to have implications beyond the borders of Benares itself, certainly throughout India. In the ashrams of Sonoma and Varanasi, a tradition of inner peace and wholeness gives rise to appreciation for the community and the environment. It is in the overflow of wholeness that we seek to improve the lives of others. Paying attention to the ecology and our environment is a spiritual practice in itself. Just like we pay attention to our inner environment, we must pay attention to our outer environment. Once you are connected with your wholeness, you are aware of that our environment is being affected, our environment is suffering. So this is the right thing to do. And we must do whatever we can to sustain our environment.